am I maybe not as comfortable as it probably should have been in the end, but a win's a win. What's your reaction to that game? Uh, five points made on Friday night at home, so to get a win and get those five points in front of the crowd again and get back on winning ways is, is fantastic. We'll, we'll look at the areas that we need to work on that second half and get a bit more control, but ask the guys to put in a performance today and we didn't really talk about the result or the win. Um, we knew if we put a performance in, we'd get some... You know, score a few tries and, and defend really well in part. So pretty, really proud of the guys, mate. So really impressive first half, especially and then second half, and you go down to 13 men for six or seven minutes, whatever it was, and that, whoever whoever you're playing, playing with 13 men is never going to be easy. Yeah, but it was a good challenge, mate. I'm putting a lot of pressure on our defence, and we've got to be better, and we've got to stop leaking tries. So to go to 14 men or 13 men. We've just got to make sure they've got to work harder, don't they? The guys have got to front up a little bit more and work for an extra man or two. And there's some good patches in there when we're down to those guys. But like you say, we can't we can't be giving up yellow cards or what do we give away three today? Do you know what I mean? And that's going to kill us. So uh, we just lost a little bit, a little bit of momentum in that second half, and they were always going to come back. And like I said to you in that pre-match, they they're a good teammate and they, they throw the ball around and they were going to put us under pressure. But we just kind of. Lost a bit of ascendancy up front, scrum-wise and more-wise, and gave away a few penalties, and we never really got out of that half. So that's a disappointment, but um, that's stuff we can work on, mate. And it's just that getting the game leaders together and how we get out of there and, and we play in the right areas, which we did in that first half, mate. So We said before the game about competition for places is really healthy, and there was players that, that come in today that had not got many minutes, the likes of Novelli at Bale, and to be fair, those players have, have made a stake now as to why that shirt should be theirs. Yeah, that, that, like we talked, mate, that's why we want Elliot coming the summer. And he's, <clears throat> excuse me, he's been out injured all like for about three, four months, and and, and and he's he's pretty experienced as well. So he's come back, and Sam Hollingsworth and those guys, and Morgan Bunting, these guys are all class players, mate. So competition drives the intensity of training and, and drives the performance out here as well, mate. So um, you know, you look at Harry Graham, haven't had much opportunity. And he played really well today and he played out of the match and puts a little bit of pressure on our selection and the other guys around him. So if these guys can do that um, and, and they're training really well, then they, they'll get opportunities as well. So for me, that's really pleasing to see and we've got to keep pushing hard at training and, and we'll hopefully get some improvements as we did today, mate. So Another decent crowd in here as well tonight. Uh, we're away next week and then back at the Bay. Uh, these are the nights that you look forward to? Yeah, mate. It's, it, it's a lovely night, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? And, and we're getting... What, what was the crowd? Uh, 1,141. So like getting 1,500 people in the gate now. Um, that, that's class, mate. There's lots of noise and, and I'm sure they enjoyed that first half. And, you know, there could have been parts in that game in that second half where we died and, and we fell away from it. So, you know, they kept fighting and, and hopefully the crowd will come back. But it makes a big difference. They fill in the stands and, and, and fill in the clubhouse afterwards and the boys enjoying it. That's what we want. So hopefully, you know, Bedford's going to be tough, but that's what we want. We want to keep challenging ourselves and we've got to keep putting in performances like we did today and, and get some more wins, mate. So. Just back to the game, is that a pleasing aspect for you, what you just mentioned there, the fact that Scottish really piled it on in the second half, but our boys were big enough and tough enough to stand up to the challenge and still come away with the five points? Yeah, mate, like, we, we could have let them back in the game, but we, we kind of managed parts of that second half and we got the penalty that put it out in front a little bit, but disappointing with a couple of those line-out drives, we defended really well, um, but if you give ultimately loads of penalties away and they kick in the corner and we've got I'd hate to think how many line out drives we had to defend for them to score that one at the end or whatever so um, we just can't play in those areas mate and, and, but we talk about the, the, the dog and the effort and the big challenge was for the guys to work hard today and I think they did that they showed that first half as great defensive sets some of the, the ruck speed was really quick and we, we, we opened up and those Morgan Buntings and, and those Harry Grahams and those guys Elliot Creed and all that everyone out wide scored some you know a couple of good tries and put these uh, putting a really good performance, which is exciting to see, mate. So it's been a tough few weeks, mate, but um, it's good to get the five points at home.